also alive. Television cricket commentary is an integral part of the viewer experience as they help audiences make sense of the game and of course entertain. Mr. Mark Nicholas is a former cricketer and lifelong lover of the game. Hailing from England, he found from an early age that he enjoyed the radio cricket commentary prevalent at the time and has worked around the world doing commentary and presenting for broadcasters such as Sky Sports and Channel 4 in England. Former West Indies superstar and now renowned cricket commentator Michael Holding has also worked around the world for various broadcasters such as Channel 9 in Australia and on your World of Champions, of course. I was convinced to do it by a friend of mine in Jamaica. First I started off on radio, of course, and then a few years after that we started doing television commentary in the Caribbean. And then I then gravitated towards other television commentary jobs away from home. I got contracted to Sky in the UK, I've done some Channel 9 in Australia. And then of course lately I've been coming to South Africa and I've enjoyed every year. I was sort of inbred from a very young age. And uh, you know, you have heroes, uh, the English uh, radio commentator John Arlott, the Australian television commentator Richie Benno, um, were the two I tried to copy the most. Um, but I, I love that crackly sound of the live play. And I studied voices and styles of commentary and opinion making ever since. Yeah, it's just something I've enjoyed doing. Um, it's also a bit of an opportunity to give back um, to people. And obviously the production um, has been enhanced um, through the tools, you know, whether it be the touch screen, um, or being able just to illustrate things through replays or slowing them down. Uh, it's nice to be able to try and give people a bit of feel uh, for what's actually going on. Simpio Ngobo is a young man from Chesterville, Durban, who loves all things sport, with a particular affinity towards KZN-based teams as well as his beloved Proteas. This lover of cricket spoke to us about the unique viewer experience that commentators deliver, while he welcomed us into his home to watch a live match on Supersport. They gave us a background of their, some players that we didn't know. Uh, for instance, the uh, Shaita Freddy, which is a good swing bowler, he's a left-hander. Very exciting, very young player, and they're telling us uh, everything that we didn't know about him. You know, I'm almost just trying to have a chat. Um, if we were sitting in the, in the lounge at home and um, you were talking to people who maybe didn't really understand the game as, as well as you do, um, you know, just giving them inside information into what exactly is going on, what the thought process would be, and what the options could have been when they make a mistake. So rather than hammering them, rather just try and explain to the viewers maybe what his thinking was. Sean Pollock, he is my favorite commentator just because he was a player before and then more so he was an all-rounder. So he reads the game when the team is batting, he also reads the game when the team is bowling. I suppose in, as a commentator there's people that will like you, um, you know, they'll like your point of view, the way you, you portray yourself. Um, but yeah, just more of a conversation, like you're in a bunch of friends and people are talking about the game and you contributing. The cricket commentary booth usually has two commentators at a time. The lead commentator who calls the action and the other commentator who analyzes it. This helps the viewer better understand proceedings on the pitch and further enhance their viewing experience for couch-bound fans everywhere. All of this is, however, a skill, one that requires time, practice and experience in order to engage deeply with and entertain audiences. When I first started off doing commentary, I just stuck, stuck to the basics. I was very nervous in the first few years, but as you, the longer you do any job, you get more comfortable with it, you relax a bit more, and so you're a bit more flowing and you open up a bit, a bit more. People at home are seeing the pictures. You don't need to be telling someone, oh, that went before, they, are, they saw it went before. You might tell them why it went before, why it was a good shot, or why it was a bad boss, something like that, but don't tell them what they're already seeing. So I learned from things like that. I believe in the great moments being expanded upon. I believe you need to be as excited as the match is engrossing and entertaining. In South Africa, you have to understand what South African sport has been through in this last 50 years. In Australia, I think you've got to know the game inside out. I think the first reference from an Australian audience is how well does this guy know the game? In Sri Lanka, there's an intense love of cricket. It's a small island, and its cricket is a revered. So they like the commentators to revere the game. If you're a really pure commentator with a deep love of cricket, they really appreciate that. 
With many of the Supersport commentary teams having had extensive experience around the world over many years, their insights and delivery are undisputed. But it is their continued passion and love of the game that continues to enthrall and excite viewers. This keeps viewers coming back for an experience that can only be matched by the human need to communicate. We've always been a unique nation, um, so I, I feel like our commentary at Supersport is also quite unique. You know, you know we do things from a different perspective. We have an international voice, so I think we've got a nice blend. And I, th I think as you go around, you realise that you want to try and keep your own personality. You don't want to try and do it too much like the other productions. Um, you want to have your own style. And I definitely feel we've got our own style in South Africa, and we stick to that. Thank you, Supersport, for giving us that, that game on our TVs, and also. Thank you for bringing us the Super Sport team commentary. They're giving us a good commentary. Thank you very much, guys. What I urge from people is to go out and try. Try the game. Experience the feel of the ball on the bat. To deliver a ball that moves. To take a catch cleanly that lands softly into your hands. You will feel great. Cricket can make anybody feel great. So I think it's still a fine game to watch. You know, is there anything sweeter than a Hashim Amla cover drive or Virat Kohli whip through mid-wicket or Dale Stain out swing up. Not much, is that? And with that said, we thank you for watching all the action your World of Champions brings.